Before they escaped, the five missing patients had been undergoing treatment in the anthrax isolation camp at Kawohe Health Center 4. Shema District Health officials say the five were to have been hospitalized for at least two months, the time span in which they were expected to have completed their doses. As people from the village, when someone feels somehow relieved of the pains which was going on, maybe if someone improves, for them they think that the, the, the treatment is over. But we are going to, to go after them and arrest them and see how they can finish it and complete their treatment. Police and other security agencies backed by the health officials are now undertaking a manhunt for the patients. Officials say when found, the five anthrax patients will be brought back to the health center to avoid infecting other people. The five contracted the disease after getting into contact with infected cows in their village of Mushojua in Kagongo, sub-county in Shema district. Two people and several cows have succumbed to anthrax and about eight others infected with the deadly anthrax and are undergoing treatment. Meanwhile, a porridge vendor in Mulago National Referral Hospital is in police detention for allegedly extorting money from patients by reportedly passing off as a midwife. Valentine Nomulisa is accused of issuing discharge forms to patients at Mulago's labor ward at 5,000 shillings. A nurse who is now on the run was her said to be a complice. They actually hoodwinked the patients that when they pay, they can quickly be worked on and they are quickly discharged. But luckily enough, they were messing up the form. There is a form they were using and they messed it up. So our security guard quickly noticed that there was a problem and he notified police. At the time of her arrest, Valentine had reportedly sold off over 50 leaflets of the discharge booklets.